This little unmanned aircraft is flying on what may be the jet fuel of the future. It's the US Air Force's first flight to test out sustainable aviation fuel made from carbon dioxide. Yes, that CO2, the greenhouse gas that's warming our planet. But it's being converted into jet fuel and more by these guys. Our conversion process takes carbon dioxide from either air or point sources, combines that with water, and it makes things like jet fuel and alcohol, things that we currently get from fossil fuels, except we're making them using the carbon dioxide from the air. Air companies started out selling alcohol-based products like vodka, fragrance, and hand sanitizer, but it always had loftier goals in mind. The whole reason why we make consumer products right now is because we have to do the research and we have to invest the money in scaling the technology. Scaling up is mission number one for Air Company. They've already inked deals with airlines like JetBlue and Virgin Atlantic to supply one billion gallons of sustainable aviation fuel over the next decade. But their Brooklyn research facility is making just a fraction of that right now. A facility this big is kind of like a small gas station. We can produce tens to hundreds of gallons of fuel out of something like this at a time. The next step of scale is around 100 times the size of the reactor. And once we build that, it's gonna be our first real refinery that's gonna make jet fuel for commercial flights out of carbon dioxide. Air Company is also being contracted by the Defense Innovation Unit. This is to build these carbon neutral jet fuel making stations actually on US Air Force bases. You don't need to worry about using pipelines or transporting or all of the challenges that are associated with getting fossil fuels all around the world. You can make things on site and on demand. The Air Force is the largest emitter of greenhouse gases in the Defense Department. It has a plan to reach net zero emissions by the year 2046. Sustainable aviation fuels are a big part of that plan. By 2025, the Air Force hopes to have two of its operational bases using at least 10% of sustainable aviation fuel blends, but only if it's the same cost or cheaper than traditional jet fuel. Cost stays top of mind for Air Company's Stafford Sheehan. So cost and energy efficiency and environmentally friendly processes for us are all tied together. And that's the key difference between us and the fossil fuel industry. The way the fossil fuel industry works today is as the cost of your fossil fuels go down, the carbon intensity of the process goes up. So to get cheaper gasoline, you're harming the environment more. The way Air Company is different is as the cost of our process goes down, our carbon intensity also goes down. So in bringing the cost of our product down, we're cleaning the atmosphere rather than polluting it more.